Yeah. <laughs> oh, you already know what we gon' do. <laughs> hey, well, if you guess and it's me, you guess correctly. I just say what it's. Hi, guys. Welcome back. So, basically, I filmed this video already and I was editing the footage and I had this like hair literally so bad it was like this curled hair that was just there the entire freaking video and I was like okay it'll be fine no one will care but I couldn't even bear to sit through it so I had to scratch it with satin over here we go today I'm gonna be doing a product first impression slash demo and then a review with you guys um so I'm gonna do the first impression demo first and then I will come back at the end with my final thoughts on this product and it is the Smashbox Photo Filter Creamy Powder Foundation. I am the sh in the shade number two. This is what the inside looks like. Try not to blind you. And then it also comes with a sponge underneath. I've used one side. One side's like velvety, and the other side's just like a normal sponge. But I use this as a setting powder. You can use this as an all over face powder, I believe, if you probably don't have any like problem areas and just need something to set your skin, this would be great, but I always use a liquid underneath, and then I have been putting this on top. It is, well, I'm going to tell you at the end how I feel about it, because I don't want any spoilers, but I will go into my first impression slash demo will be right here, where I walk you through an entire day of me wearing it. I think I wore it for 14 hours, so you'll see me apply it do a check-in in the afternoon and then a check-in at night and you will see how I think of the product. Hey guys, um, okay, so it is 5.48 a.m. and I'm gonna be tr trying out, oh, I can't even speak, this Smashbox Photo Filter Creamy Powder Foundation. So let's see how this applies. And I'll give you, I'll like zoom into my face. I have on underneath the Smashbox Studio Skin. Um, it's just there. It's a foundation by Smashbox as well. Just because this is meant, um, I don't want to use it as like a powder. A f I want to use it as setting powder and not just like a only powder. Okay. Because I always have to wear a liquid, so there there's no point in me applying this for you full like full face without a liquid underneath because I would never wear it like that so this is what it looks like and then we get like a little applicator underneath I guess I'll, I'll try it out with the applicator one side is like really smooth and velvety and the other side feels like a normal sponge and I forget how it goes um, for the most natural soft focus finish Softly press and pat onto the skin using the sponge, double-sided for two levels of coverage. So, um, I think the velvet sides to sheer it out. I'm just like taking a little bit and putting it on my face. And we're going to see how this holds up throughout the day. I always have like redness on my nose, so that's something that I always try and cover. You can like, you can see it going on. I always take it back to my ears. I wouldn't typically use the sponge, I would use my stippling brush, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to use it. And I'm sorry, I'm looking at my viewfinder to apply it, so I apologize. I just looked in my mirror to see and it actually gives a really nice airbrush look. I'm very impressed. I made sure that my foundation on underneath still had some skin showing through so I could really see the contrast, but 
This is it so far. I'm trying to see if you'll be able to tell. So we are going to see how this holds up at work and I will, whoa, wrong way. I will check back in with you guys in a couple hours. Okay. Okay guys, I'm back. I just got off work. It is now 11.58. So I've been wearing this makeup for about six hours and I'm very impressed. I'll zoom you in. I know the light. Okay, here we go. This is much better. Okay, sorry I wasn't filming like this earlier. Anyway, I'm very impressed. It's definitely very luminous, and I've actually never really noticed that from a powder before, even ones that have claimed to be illuminating powders. So it definitely does bring out like a healthy glow. Mind you, I did highlight the my cheekbones, and I did contour a little bit just because I was going to work, but like there's like luminosity throughout my face and that's really good so we're six hours in I'll be back to check in with you guys later but so far so good hopefully now you can see a little bit better in this light and I'm really really liking it you guys we're back it is now almost 7 p.m. so I've had this makeup on now for almost 14 hours and I I'm super, super, super impressed. My nose up front is getting a little bit red, but I told you, you probably can't even see that. But I did tell you guys in my first clip that my nose is always red and it always seeps through powder, so I don't really like blame the powder for it. It's just something that happens. But this has held up so freaking well. Like, I can't even believe it. For 14 hours of wear, it looks really good. I mean, it's not like as perfect as it was this morning, but I could easily get away with continuing to wear it like this the rest of the night, and that's really impressive to me. So, so far, thumbs up. Okay guys, so that was my demo, and overall, I give this a five out of five. I am absolutely hooked. Like, without a doubt, this was made for me. This is my child, like, literally. Oh my gosh, I... It doesn't smell like anything, but I just love this so much. It's like you get a nice huge mirror in it. This foundation is like perfect. And then the sponge I don't particularly care for, but I think in a pinch if you don't have a brush or you're taking this on the go, it's perfect for that. Um, this seriously does something that I've never encountered before with the powder. It just like blurs every imperfection and your skin just looks flawless like I I can't even tell you I actually got a compliment on my skin yesterday and I've never been complimented on my skin in my life like a lady at work came up to me and was like you have the prettiest skin I wanted to tell you and I'm like whoa hold the front door nobody has ever said that to me I don't have like super bad acne or anything but I used to so I do have a little bit of scarring a um, little bit of like discoloration so I just never had that compliment before, so that was super sweet, but seriously, you guys, pick this up. I know I raved about the other Smashbox powder that I do have as well, the twisty one that was in my January favorites. Ugh, this beats that. This beats anything. Honestly, it beats L'Oreal Translucent, like, da -da -da, everything I could think of. But if you are looking for just something to set your foundation and you don't want any additional coverage those are fine but if you are like me and you like liquid and then you like to set your foundation with something that's got somewhat of coverage go for this like it doesn't have to be intense it doesn't have to be full coverage like you literally I've been using this elf stippling brush with it and I just like pop it on right here don't have to touch it up at all throughout the day even though I'm doing this right now just for the purpose of this demo but it is the best. It's the best. And I hope you guys all pick it up. They have it at Sephora. They have it at Nordstrom. Wherever Smashbox is sold. But this is a freaking winner. Will be a favorite of the year. So check out my 2015 yearly favorites. But really probably it will be in there. Anyway thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I 
haven't posted in over a week. I literally have had five interviews this week. I'm about to graduate college, so things have been so hectic. I've been going to Starbucks and going to school and going to my second job and then having to find time to go to five interviews in that mix. So huh, editing has not been a top priority this week. I am sorry. I have my February favorites. Either it's going to be this video, after this video, right before this video, this video. And then I wanted to ask you guys... I'm going to San Diego next week for five or six days, and I really want to vlog it. Would you guys want to see that? Leave your comments below or thumbs up this video, because I think it would be really fun. That's where I'm originally from, and I don't know. I just think it would be fun to kind of show you guys San Diego. Um, so please let me know below. I mean, I'll probably do it anyway, but I would like to know if you guys would actually watch it. And yeah, lastly, thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on this you know what i'm saying also follow me on instagram and twitter i'm at ld beauty so it makes it super easy cross platforms all right you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video thank you girl um another thing i forgot to mention oh my gosh america so got a thing for the skates and shit you love me black chocolate black skull